Hi, I didn't think of a witty intro today, so let's just start things off. I'm Shrewboy313, and this is Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 2. In the last episode, we arrived here at Unsure, <laughs> and, um, ooh, that metal slime's over there. And, yeah, we're basically following the Countess, because she's here for some reason. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, the last... Like, the last episode was just the beginnings of Unsure, so this episode is just going to be delving further into Unsure. That's <laughs> that's the plan, at least. Right, Calamari Kid, where is the way we want to be going? I'm assuming past... Oh, <laughs> well, maybe the where the Countess is, because she was right there. Also, she can fly. Why is she bothering to even just come down here? She could just, like, fly over the gaps. <laughs> you know, for a hot second there, I thought that tentacle was going to uh, avoid us. And I said annoy us. And even after saying avoid, I meant to say annoy. <laughs> no, I oh my god. Wait, yes. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, if that was any indication of how the rest of this episode is going to go, we're in for a ride. <laughs> oh, look at that. I didn't actually have a clue that a tentacle could actually do any special attacks. I mean, I suppose, like, the positive thing about there only being one tentacle per, you know, per fight is that even if they do paralyze a monster, whatever happens, you're still going to end up with at least one monster. Because, I mean, obviously, like, with monsters like the Boreal Serpent, there are monsters that take up two of the three slots, which... Obviously, it's all the gigantic monsters that do that. New enemy, by the way, the King Kelp. And yet, apparently, they like, these... I say giant monsters, bigger, not giant. Like, the bigger monsters, they apparently are meant to hit harder. And they get, like, instead of the regular three skills that, like, a normal one block monster would get, they get four. I suppose that's to, like, you know, make up for the fact that you are technically losing out on one monster, like, one move per turn. Right. I'm gonna be completely honest, I meant to have the meant to have paws attack the cure slime but it's okay the cure slime should die to this there we go Whee. oh <laughs> i was about to say as you'll see as the king kelp ow sorry just hit my knee on my desk it's fine i was about to say as you'll see as this king kelp moves but he didn't get the chance to right there's more of them <laughs> Yeah, King Kelp, they are, they're basically just like an all-round monster, like, they can do a bunch of different things, but they don't particularly excel in many of them. Like, the, the skill they have, you know, outside of the skill boost, is literally just called all-rounder, so, it's literally just like a skill with a bit of everything in it. Right, I think we're going to have to fight this Kyo Slime, because it's not going to let us go. Ew. Oh no, it let us go. <laughs> Prove me wrong the moment I say it. Right. Now, I know that there's, there's that Metal Slime there, but there's also a chest up here, isn't there? Or have I missed it completely? I, I'm not crazy. I'm like, yeah, there is a chest up here, right. I mean, I feel like, more often than not, when a game has, like, an outcropping like this, there's usually at least something there. Right, I'm gonna try my best at getting that metal slime, but if it runs away, it runs away. It's not the end of the world. And I did also see, like, that little mining spot, so... After this fight, we'll go check out that as well. Right. Didn't get the surprise, unfortunately, which I always just assumed that they're gonna run away. Oh, and it didn't, wow. 
Yeah, I'm constantly surprised, like, every time a metal monster doesn't run away immediately. Like, I'm just like, wow, you're really inviting this death upon you, aren't you? <laughs> there we go. So that is a solid chunk of experience for us. <laughs> And if I'm not mistaken, it means that our Hyper Hydra should level up as well. Like, when I... I mean, leveling up, yes, but like, get skill points is what I was getting at. Bip, bip, bip. There we go. And there we go, 1136. Work, and everyone leveled up as well. Everyone but except the Boreal Serpent, but, I mean, that's just there for a backup. <laughs> it's literally just a backup monster at this point. Oh uh, yeah, shove it all into healer. <laughs> the Haxorus and Hyper Hydra, they're getting close to actually completing skills. So there we have it. Right. Excuse- Excuse me, please don't come after me. <laughs> Ooh, I just heard a bubbling. In-game, not in- <laughs> not in, just like, yeah, I just heard a bubbling in real life. It's nowhere near the microphone. I'm just insane. It's fine. <laughs> right. There we go. This is what I was meaning by the- The swampy part. But, I mean... I don't know, these- <laughs> These plants kind of look like wheat. So, I can't tell if it is like an actual swamp. Ooh, what's that? Is it just like a- oh, it's a little hidden leaf. Okay. Strong- it's free strong medicine. I'm not gonna turn my nose up at it. And... yeah. <laughs> you can see all these tiny little snakes are all- well, they're new ones. Good lord. <laughs> Why are there so many of them? <laughs> right. If one catches us- oh, Christ alive. Yeah, if one of them catches us, we'll fight them, but I mean... Right now, I just want to, like, take a wander around and- Oh lord, they're everywhere! <laughs> I just wanted to, like, take a little wander around and pick everything up. Hey, free metal ticket. Right, let's fight one. <laughs> Why were there, like, 12,000? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, the Boner Constrictor. A questionable name, but I mean, <laughs> hey, go off game designers. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, a b I, I hate the name Boner Constrictor. They are rank C monsters, and when I was, uh, what was it, synthesizing this team up, like I did have the opportunity to get a Boner Constrictor in place of the Haxorus, but. I'll be honest, I'm more familiar with the Haxorus than I am the Boner Constrictor, so... That was why I went with the Haxorus. If I'm not mistaken, and I could be making this up, like, Boner Constrictors, they can use, like, dark magic, like... I wanna say, like, Zam, Thwack, things like that. And they also dropped a Mistake Medicine, whatever that is. Yeah, see, this is <laughs> this is the thing. I I haven't played the second game as much as I have the first, like in Dragon Quest Monsters Joker terms. Yeah, so there are th there are like a few things I still have no clue about, like that file of mistake medicine. Wh where is she? Mistake medicine. There it is. Yep. Oh. I'm sorry. Did I accidentally just use it? What? Oh, oops. Oh wait, no, I just... Oh wait, I've accidentally just sorted all of my stuff out. I've just changed it. <laughs> I've just changed it all! Right, sorted by type. Right, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, inflict a status ailment. Okay, I guess just any status ailment. Also, I realised I did just say status then status. I could, I'm dying, I have no logic behind why I did that. Right, also, two new monsters in this area. That thing, and there is a, if I'm, again, if I'm not mistaken, there is a crabbit around here somewhere. Now, I think, 
Oh, there you go, there's the Krabbit. I want to say, I don't remember what they're called, but they're obviously like a take on the lantern fish. You know, those ones with the lights on their antenna. Oh, one's after me. It's bipped. <laughs> and again, I'm tempted to say that there's like a metal slime up one of these ladder type things. Oh, there's more boner constrictors. <laughs> That's for certain. Boner constrictor. Right, okay. I've just seen a few leaves. <laughs> there's a few leaves up here. So I'm not entirely sure. Maybe there's one on the other one, or maybe I'm just lying to you. Who can really tell? Oh, I was about to say that I could see a boner constrictor, but it wasn't the one that jumped up. Jumped up? That jumped up at us that I saw. <laughs> right, I'm not a liar. See, <laughs> I feel like that's not something I should have to like proclaim to the world. Look, I'm not lying. I promise. Uh, yeah, like, see, like I was saying, there are a lot of things about this game I don't remember and don't know what they do, but there are certain things, like that metal slime, that are just ingrained in my brain. <laughs> things that, like, they just, like, scoop out of my brain immediately once I'm done playing, but when I come back to it, I'm just like, oh yeah, I know all of this. <laughs> right, let's fight. <laughs> let's fight some of these things. My hope is that maybe there's one of those lantern fish type things in with the crabbit. Oh, there's two of the large things. Oh, good. A dangler fish, there you go. Right, crabbit, they function the exact same way as they did in the first game. They're just a higher rank now. <laughs> Instead of rank F, they're now rank D. They are defenders through and through. That is, that's what they always were. It's what they still are. And dangler fish. If I'm not mistaken, they can use Dazzle Flash, which it would make sense with the light on the antenna. I killed them both before they got to do anything, which I'm not mad about. <laughs> also, I like how I say I'm going to get in battle to show you these monsters, but then just like destroy them before they get the chance to do anything anyway. Right. Who knows, maybe we'll get into a fight with another one. But I am gonna see if I can't <laughs> if I can't get that metal slime as well. <laughs> I might as well while we're here. Ooh, what was that around there? Oh, it's just another dangle fish, never mind. <laughs> right, I'm gonna hope it doesn't run away as soon as we get up. Oh, there's boner constrictors up here as well. Right. Come on, we need to angle this. Finagle it. Got it. <laughs> I think we got the slime just as it was escaping. I think. E, we did nice. Ooh, taken by surprise, even better. <laughs> Free turn. See, another thing is like, I feel like since I have three monsters with Hit Squad and one with Metal Slash, I feel like I don't need to rely right now as heavily on things like pinballs for like those extra two points of damage. The fact that what my monsters hit technically seven times a turn, <laughs> it really helps. <laughs> Have any of these monsters attacked yet? Okay. I promise these monsters have special abilities. I'm just not showing them off well. But then again, my uh, my josh on this channel, I like I've never been a 100%, and I'm never going to be the one who's going to show you absolutely everything that exists. Also, we completed Gorilla Sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to be that person that's going to like show you everything, cause. It's just not me. <laughs> I'm just here to have a good time and play video games. That's all I'm here for. <laughs> right, back down we go. 
I was about to say, I think we might be near the end of Unsure, but we still haven't hit the zip portal, have we? Oh god, dangle a fish. You know what, let's... <laughs> let's fight another one, see if we can't actually, you know, show it off a little bit. So let's focus all our efforts on the Crabid. Because like I say, the Crabid is the exact same as it was in the first one. It defends, it uses buff, nothing out of the ordinary. There, oh Dazzle. Dazzle, Dazzle Flash, I don't know what the difference is. They all reduce your accuracy. Which I suppose, when you're hitting multiple times, that is a pain in the behind. See? <laughs> It's annoying, but like I say, I'm not too bothered. We've got plenty of healing items. And I mean, like, unless unless it gets a critical hit, we're not too endangered. And also, it's not even just fo it's not even focusing on one enemy. It's just <laughs> it's just doing whatever it wants. I mean, live your life, sweetie. I appreciate that. There we go. Ta-da! Right, let's head into that cave. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, before I actually go properly in, I'm just gonna shove like 12,000 medicinal herbs down each of their throats. And you know what, let's be nice. Here you go, Boreal Serpent, we'll heal you as well. <laughs> Right, into the cave. Speaking of the zip portal... <laughs> oh look, and the snail slimes in here as well. Yeah, there are a lot of new enemies, like, in Unsure. And I've just realised there's, there's still a, a, at least one other layer, like, into Unsure that we haven't seen yet. Which also has, I think it has another two new monsters in. Yeah, there is a lot in Unsure. <laughs> Alright. Snail slimes... I'm not entirely sure how they work. My brain would be tempted to say that, you know, they function the same as, like, a shell slime. Like, low... low HP, high defense. But, I mean, they have... I know they have the Mage Aid skill. And they also apparently seem to be really fast. Which is obviously weird for a snail. <laughs> oh well. Either way, <laughs> they don't seem to be that bad, that harmful. I mean, yes, it is technically a human-sized snail charging at you. But I mean, <laughs> it's still a snail at the end of the day. Right, I'd also like to say that was skillful dodging on my behalf. Right. <laughs> Is there a chest down here or something? <laughs> Why are you just being followed by snails? Okay, just the one snail. And there is nothing down here, okay. Back over to the zip portal then. Excuse me. <laughs> and it does look like there is one more tentacle to take down. Let's scoot past them. Right, the zip. Actually, since we're at the zip portal, I'm going to take this opportunity to go back to the Albatross, heal, and then go see Marsha and hand, essentially just hand in the Boreal Serpent. I think it, it's like a good, we're nearly there at the end of Unsure point. So, to me, it makes sense. Right. We also have all of the, what is it? The machine parts that we can just like jam in. Right, makes a ka-chunk. Ooh, has it, has that leveled up the item vending machine? It has, right. Anti-magic powder, oomph powder, pounder? Yep. <laughs> Sag powder and mistake medicine, ooh. Ooh, okay. Zombie's Bane, Partisan, Woodsman's Axe, 
Warhammer, a whip, sacred claws, and a rune staff. Eh, not right now. <laughs> Plus we don't really have the money, you know, to be able to be affording to do all of that. Plus, I mean, I tend to like, unless I pick up new equipment like mid new area, eh, I'm not the type of person that's just gonna like break away half through an area just to rejig all my equipment for like two extra attack points. Although I've said that, I probably have been that person. Didn't mean to come back to Unsure while I was speaking. <laughs> I just did it like, oh, we're in Unsure. No, I wanted to go see Marsha. And with a shocking change in music, I just figured I'd skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> right, proficiency test 4, we've got it. Thank you, Marsha, there we go. That beast is the one you were meant to bring. Me uh, Mega Monsters, that's the one. Yes, book and span prize. Ooh, Panacea. And since we're here, we'll start level 5. Bring me a Hades Condor. Okay. Right. Like I said, I'm not going to go do that immediately. <laughs> and I mean, I know we can get Hades Condors from just scouting them in Kragravation. But then again, we might have one. <laughs> just like in storage. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to meet you back in isolate not isolation, in Unsure, back to where we were at the zip portal. And we're back. <laughs> right. So, like I said, if I'm not mistaken, we've got, like, one more little area in Unsure after this one, and then we're at the boss. So, we nearly finished here. Oh, wait, no. This is the last area before the boss. Those little shrimpy things that you saw jumping around in the background, I thought they were I thought they were elsewhere. Oh, well. I guess in that case <laughs> it's only been two episodes. We might be able to finish up here this episode. It'll be a bit of a longer one, but oh well. I mean, I guess there's a reason that, like, the zip portal's here, so that you can just, like, run off and heal. But, I mean, yeah, like I say, if I'm not mistaken, that should have been the last tentacle. And then... I'm gonna ignore everything else for now, unless we get dragged into a cutscene. Oh, oh, actually, wait a minute. No, I'm not. <laughs> Shrub heard something moving underground. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and now that the tentacle has left, you can see both of the new monsters. <laughs> um, I mean, if we're lucky, we'll get to fight both of them in this fight. Yeah, so I've just straight up lied here. <laughs> we're gonna fight the boss in the next episode. Right. Yeah, um, mermen. Merm <laughs> Mermans. I don't know them. I mean, mermans would be, like, possessive of one of the mermen's things. Yeah, mermen. <laughs> I don't exactly... Again, they're one, another one that I don't really remember what they do. And the shrimp-looking fella that you saw is a yabby. Which I believe has been massively downgraded from the first one, considering I think they used to be A-ranked. And I think now that they're, now they're C-ranked... I think. I could, again, I could be lying to you. If I am, I do apologise. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're gonna leave this episode here. Um. Yeah. Ooh, was that something? No, it was just another yabby, okay. And at the start of the next episode, I mean, we're just gonna head down here because, again, I think this is where, <laughs> this is where Unsure ends. So thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Goodbye.